Hello and welcome to episode 12 of our Ostrov Alpha 5 Let's Play. It is July of 1743. We have exactly 400 people in our town. And last time, we built up this area a little bit more. Added a couple of other production items down here. And a pair of houses. We're going to keep building more down here as, uh, as long as these guys in the forestry can keep up with getting rid of trees. And we're going to take care of a couple other things as well. Been uh, trying to get into horses for a while, so we'll probably do that today. And we're going to figure out a way to hide this absolute horror show of a uh, terraforming failure over here. Man, look how ugly this bridge is. I actually really dislike this. <laughs> oh, we're probably going to have to uh, completely redo this, aren't we? Yep, I'm going to tear the bridge down. I know, after all that. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to rebuild this. We're going to try something completely different. and might even just put this in a different spot. So I got a couple of uh, suggestions to try and fix this. So I figured the first thing we do today is see what might work. Now, I haven't tried any of this, so you'll find out together with me if any of this works. But we did get a suggestion to try a clay or a sand pit as a potential solution. I don't think these do any terraforming. But if we place this down... Yeah, you can see it doesn't actually change the land at all. So... I don't think that's going to work, but we also have the ability to just suck it up, own it, and hide it <laughs> with the help of a reforestation area, which we can put anywhere on the map we so choose. And I think, oh, is it going to just let me do it no matter what? Oh boy. Oh, that is a uh, fantastic discovery. <laughs> oh man. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I can go all the way out to 50. We'll start maybe a little bit, maybe a little further up here. Too long, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, give me 50 units. Okay, yeah, I have to have the bridge demolished first, but we will solve this problem by hiding it with some trees. Cool. Yeah, sweep it under the rug. Nobody will notice. Just, it's fine. It'll buff out. That was a great movie. Um, so we, we have to uh, actually accomplish something today besides movie quotes but we have a house here that is waiting to be constructed we can put a couple more down here as well i just didn't want to do too much at the tail end of yesterday's video because well you know uh, how that can go and it can turn into something that would lead to a three hour video which i don't think anybody wants if you do please seek help <laughs> if you're watching these videos every day there are people in your life who care about you and want you to do things besides watch some random dude on online play video games, but I'm glad you're here anyway, even if uh, even if you do want to see a three hour video. That just means you appreciate me and I am uh, completely fine with that. But we'll go ahead and stick a couple more houses in here just to uh, give these guys a little bit of something else to do. I don't think I can fit another house nicely here, so we'll probably leave this open in case we can put a uh, useful production building like a fishing dock, which Probably is going to be what ends up going back here. But I will leave that open right there. Uh, this house right here is probably going to get another one right around here. Maybe. To uh, line up with this. And then right in here in front of the uh, granary, we're probably going to want to put in some other uh, production type stuff. But I did figure a house probably should go here. So we will leave that alone for now. They've got plenty to do between fixing this enormous crime against humanity and uh, building a couple houses. So let's instead shift our focus to setting up for horses. Try to get that uh, squared away before too long. We have, of course... Am I on the wrong page? I definitely am. I'm so used to this being reorganized in a different way. So we have somewhere on here... Oh, are they doing trade and transport? Yeah, they definitely are. I am very tired. I got two hours of sleep last night, so bear with me. We've got a we've got a stable we have to build to actually raise the horses, and the wagon shed, which is where the wagons are stored with the horses attached to them. So we'll have to build both of those. In addition to that, we have to have the saddlery, which is somewhere in here. Yes, which produces horse tack, which you have to have to create a draft horse. So since that is a support building, we're actually going to build that first to try and get a little bit of stuff built beforehand. And it is a similar type of production to our clothing, 
So I figured we'd just stick it right over here in this uh, general area. Maybe right there might be nice. Keep things kind of uh, grouped together similarly because it will use a lot of the same parts. And the carpentry is right here to stock metal parts into here. Uh, it'll be metal parts and leather, I believe, to make the stuff. And actually, it'll tell us in the uh, thing right here. Yep, leather and metal parts. So that's going to be I probably kind of far down the list, honestly. But we go ahead and put a stable down. If we find a good spot for it, decide where we want that to be. And we can have a stable. We can put a wagon shed somewhere where it will be useful. I imagine that will probably end up being somewhere in the neighborhood of this area. Maybe get rid of some of these trees right here and uh, turn this into our horse area. That might actually be, well, if we can get the trees out of there, might actually be a good spot. We do have this reforestation area right here. So let's come over here to our forestry. We're going to mark, uh, I love that this is a thing now with all these uh, multi-select trees and everything. So why don't we just kind of uh, do a little of this? I actually don't know. The shadows are kind of uh, throwing me off here. I think we got everything. So they will take care of those trees. I don't know what order they will do those in. But they will do them. And we'll have to make sure to make use of some of this wood so they can actually be incentivized to cut down more. Or we could hire more guys. Do we have extra? Mm, not really. Well, it'll be fine. We are doing just some uh, thinking right now anyway. But if we come back, I always want to open the production for that. If we come back to our uh, correct tab, if we can try and find a spot to stick this stuff. Again, because of the sloping here, there are certain configurations this may or may not work in. We'll have to uh, play around a little bit. But I would ultimately like it to kind of face this way. Let's check and see what the wagon shed... Oh, the wagon shed's much more tolerable to stuff. So if anything, we should probably put this down first. Wow, I can come all the way down here. Can I put in a fishing dock? Oh, yeah. Or a tiny bit of this, so, all right, we're not going to worry about that. That is not enough to be concerned. Um, yeah, so that'll work pretty much anywhere. So let's just find a spot where the stable will. Looks like right about here, 14 trees. And that's not even all the ones I marked either, which is uh, interesting. If there's a way for me to get this any closer back this way, Maybe I just rotate it. No, I don't think it liked that very much. Oh, that was only 12 trees. Okay. All right, let's do that. Put that right there. And then since we... <clears throat> excuse me, since we have this uh, right here, I guess we'll just put the wagon shed right next door. It is a related building after all. So we stick those two together. And it's going to take 800 years to get there because they have to take a whole bunch of trees out. But once that's in place, these two things will kind of uh, have this whole thing set up. We're going to need to put in a hay barrack as well for the horses to feed from. I think we'll just put one of the large ones in. If I can find a spot that it will let me... Okay, that might actually work there. Um... Yeah, we can get away with that right there. Should be... I might set it back a tiny bit more. Yeah, that should work. And then we'll just, uh, when everything's built, we'll just kind of decorate this with some fence and uh, keep it all nice and organized. So that's going to give them plenty to do. Let's go ahead and hit our turbo speed button here. I don't think we needed to buy or sell anything to these guys. No. Now we got sheepskin. We've got, oh, we're making plenty of alcohol. We're looking good, and the brickworks, wow, the brickworks is very full. And I was lamenting the inability to store bricks in a warehouse, and then one of you fine folks in the comments said, hey, just force it to be transported by, uh, by cart to a warehouse, even if you can't physically select it in the uh, storage, whatever function you want to call that. 
it'll probably still work. So let's uh see if we can find a uh, candidate warehouse for this. Uh, so right here is probably not the best spot for it. But there is almost nothing in here. I don't know. Maybe we'll just build another one. Or do I have space in one of these? Bark and firewood. Wool. Wow, we have that much wool already? Sheesh. We should probably build another fulling mill. Uh, okay, shoes, everything. Firewood, yeah. That's uh, that's not happening. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have to build another one of these. Somewhere. Probably also worth uh, going around town and looking at all of our cart sheds. Carts, uh, parking and all that stuff to see if we need to make any more, because they are, well, they're not all continuously in the use, which I guess is a good thing. We'll figure that out in a second. Uh, can we sell? I'm not even exporting, stocking any of this stuff anyway. Buckwheat. For some reason, we can never have enough buckwheat. I don't know what the deal is, even with all of this. Speaking of, it's about time for them to harvest. Yep, here come the laborers. Look at that taken care of. They always do. Who is complaining about not having any money? Uh, nope. Is it some of these guys? Ten. So they're both unemployed with a small child, but they have 55 wealth. How did that, uh, how did that happen? All right, well, I'm not going to attempt to understand. It's, uh, that's fine. Come to think of it, where is the closest well that is over here right here I think yeah okay so we can actually come in here I know I'm adding more stuff even more things to the building queue but we might as well just go ahead and put some more might as well put some more of these things in here because there's really no reason not to I can't can't really think of a compelling reason that we shouldn't so let's uh, just stick them in there, back up another bench up against uh, that thing. All right, so our wooden bridge in the most cursed part of the map has been demolished, which is uh, progress, I suppose. We'll go ahead and take that wood somewhere else because that's not gonna let me put anything else here if that is still there. Now, I did say I wanted to hide my shame from the rest of the world, so what we'll go ahead and do instead is once this hay dryer is empty, well, I can just make it empty because, well, the make empty function is a thing. We will try going across a much less uh, chaotic part of the river right here. If there's even anywhere for that. These guys just keep coming back and back and back again. Well, we don't need to buy or sell anything else right now unless, no, lime is looking fine. So that's okay. All right. That's gone. Let's put in a bridge. Occupied, really? All right. Um, what about... If we look from the side, this might actually not end up being hideous. We'll just have to trust the process and see if this works. Wow, look at that. It didn't completely upend the space-time continuum. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead. Uh, where was that? I guess I need to use this one. Or was I going to use this one over... Eh, I don't think it matters. Eh, what's what's this one attached to? Actually, I don't think it matters. If I said that already, I am sorry. I am tired. All right, let's... Um, I think I was going to come up here and do that. Yeah, 50. Now, if it... Oh, I wish I could get a little bit closer. Now, oh, that's scuffed. Let's, that's not, that's not great. Let's try that again. I need to get a little for, hello? Why are you here? It's over. Go home. Oh, now I have to cut it down. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. 50 units. I'm all the way down. Try to make this kind of square. Is this uh Oh, that's... Can't be concave. That'd be funny. Okay, yeah, so I actually came down too far here. How, how messed up is this? 
rhetorical question. It's extremely messed up. Too long. Uh, I guess... You know what? We're just going to kind of leave it at that and uh, just accept it because that is... Uh, that's how we hide our mistakes. So, oh, so we'll do that. We might put a couple more. Wow, they're already... Look at, that. Look at them go up and down these hills. Like, who did this? Who authorized this? It was me. Ill-advised, I know. All right, so the saddlery is about to be taken care of in just a moment here. And hopefully by the spring, we'll have our horses all up and ready to go. Now, depending on who comes to town offering them for sale, we can either buy draft horses directly or we can buy regular horses and then equip them with this stuff. But it's good to have this uh, prepared as well because we can also sell horse tack for a pretty high price. I think this is only... Oh, no, they'll hire uh, men and women here. No leather for horse tack production. Well, what are you guys doing over here? Okay, tanning till November, tanning till March, waiting on materials. They need bark. Do we really not have any bark? Okay, they're producing it. They just haven't uh, haven't moved things around yet. But they can, assuming they get leather, they can start making some. And then we can sell it for immense profit. Assuming we can actually keep the supply chain going. Yeah, these guys won't buy it. But they will buy charcoal. Actually, I don't have very much charcoal. I probably should not sell it. And we're not hurting for money, so I'm not worried about that. But we do have shoes. Not 20,000 shoes. 2,000. There we go. That's a nice sum of money to get. Buckwheat. Yeah, we have plenty of that now. Leather. Mm, I'm not going to pay 25 cents a piece for leather because I'm pretty sure if we sold the horse deck, it would only be for... 40 cents, 35 or 40 cents, and that's just not worth it. Wow, metal parts they want a lot of money for. Can I really sell metal parts for that much, or is that just what they want to charge? I should know the answers to this. I've played so much of this game, I have hundreds of hours in here. <laughs> Why am I asking questions like that? Um, Sunflower oil, oh, we're not making enough yet. But we did, wow, they cleared that pretty fast. Oh, the farm's full, you think? <laughs> Look at all this. Well, these uh, this guy's going to go ahead and get to work on that. That's nice to see. How are we doing here? Have we made any yet? Okay, we actually did. I don't know why I'm checking in. I know they don't buy that stuff. Okay, so the stable is next as soon as those trees are taken care of. It'll probably take them a pretty... Uh, sizable chunk of time. See, we're already making so much. So much beer. Who wants to buy beer? If we had extra Heroka, we could sell them. Oh, well, they're gone anyway. But maybe that's something we should be stocking. I know there's not a lot of... Well, there's more than I thought, actually. But we can go ahead, since we do have quite a bit here... We can start stocking since we know Dokachi will buy it. We'll be good. And if we see, I think... I think at least one of the people here at the trading dock will buy... Well, yeah, beer, because we have it stocked. But we'll have to see how that... Have we already got 13 people? Oh, I guess they uh, moved into these houses here. Marriage, marriage, marriage. No, this is a brand new immigration. Wow, then... Immediately the daughter gets married. All right, well, you've been here for three months. That was fast. <laughs> well, some people just want to hurry up and get that done, I guess. But we're looking all right here. Of course, our uh, market's here. I know this is something that multiple people commented and I just completely forgot to fix. Apparently our stores never had workers. So uh, we're going to fix that immediately. And the stuff's just been sitting here rotting this whole time. People have been complaining about, oh, I can't find anything to buy. Well, that's uh, because I did not do a good job with that. But it's fixed now. Sorry it took me until 21 minutes into this episode to uh, take care of that. But it is fixed. And now the happiness of our people up here should go a whole lot higher. And they need wood. Really? I, I find it hard to believe that. Oh, that's why. None of these were checked. And now they are. 
pigs are looking okay. It's too bad you can't feed pigs hay because we have a lot of it now. All right, they're back. Guess what I have? You can buy it. I know I said before I didn't really want to care too much about selling it because it didn't have a very high sale price, but we have a ton of it, so you know why not? It's not really much harm that can come from that. Oh, and if we had our stable ready, we could buy horses. Yes, I know, I'm not going to buy any. But see, they're only selling male horses, so that's really not that great of a deal because you can't reproduce them. Cloning technology did not exist in 18th century Ukraine, and it doesn't exist in this game either, so uh, we'd have to have male and female horses. And uh, ideally, we would buy draft horses. And then a very, very small amount of each of these so we could keep them in place for things like, for example, the salt works. These oxen will die when they're about 25 years old or somewhere around there, that time range. And we will have to replace them with a draft animal like another ox or a horse. And I think, I don't think there's another building that requires this. I, I seem, to, seem to remember there being something, but maybe I'm just losing my mind no, I, I guess that's it. It would be nice, though, to have some other uh, function for horses besides just uh, transportation of goods and uh, pulling stuff around. Like, I know, uh, I don't know, maybe this is too much and maybe I'm putting a little bit too much chaos out there, but I think it would be interesting if you could uh, get faster trade done if you had uh, your own uh, specific trade stuff built like I know you can you can send a messenger to pretty much any of these things well not these two in the winter because the river's frozen over but uh like maybe they'd get there faster if they had a horse that wasn't on a, a wagon or something I, I don't know because as far as I know before you have horses the guy's got to walk which is uh not ideal that's fine we'll go ahead and sell some more stuff do we have any apples we sure do these aren't really worth much either, but since they spoil, you might as well just go ahead and sell them. They want raspberries. We don't have any of those to sell. I'm going to hold on to sunflower oil for a while because uh, people should be able to buy it. Maybe we'll just sell a thousand. So they should still have a pretty good amount to actually go through here. Do they already go through all of that? All right, well, I guess we'll leave that alone then. Ah, this takes so long to get these trees out of here. Well, we still have time, so as long as this is done before the end of the episode, I think we're probably in a pretty decent spot. Now, we're not full on our graves yet, are we? No, we have three left. And uh, there's more decoration I want to do here, but I think we have a couple more pressing matters to take care of. These poor people are walking all the way down here to plant these trees in our... Uh, government-funded cover-up over here. It's not the it's not the best thing ever, but it's it's at least going to hide that. And it'll take a while for all the trees to grow anyway, so hopefully we don't have to see this cut down too soon. We'll get there. Now we should have... I could probably need to have storage for all the broadcloth. What is the maximum capacity? It's 5,000. I guess uh, let's stock just 1,000 there. We probably should build another one. But our labor pool is also continually not large enough. So I'm kind of reluctant to uh, build too much. Because if we were to go about... Putting another one here would have to go... Oh, okay, this might actually work. I instinctively tried to uh, flip sides of the building because I was still thinking of the... Uh, well, I guess, I guess it's a flip building mod or whatever in Timberborn that we were using. Because it would be nice if I could turn that the other way and have this big, long section on the left of the anchor wires go to the right instead of the left. Then I could have everything a little closer together. But maybe that has something to do with the way the uh, the stream flows. Because I guess you'd want your uh, your long line on the side that is holding it in place, maybe? 
from uh, traveling down. I don't know. Geometry was not my uh, strongest subject in high school. No nothing with math was. And I fortunately escaped it in college too. So we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and add that to the queue. Because you know we're going to need it eventually. We're just uh, not there yet. And by the time we get there, it might be the end of the episode anyway. So I guess we'll just keep on selling this stuff. We still are not in a place to buy any horses. And they still did not get anything else except male horses. Shoes. If I sell 2,000 shoes, they're just going to take everything out of town storage and put it in the trading post. So let's not do that. Buckwheat, we still have a pretty good backlog of sunflower oil. Yeah, I'm not going to sell any of that. Clothing, however. Oh, we have none in storage. All right, so never mind. Apples always go bad before we can sell them, so let's just sell another 1,000. Flour, we never have enough. I need to build another windmill. Do we have... It's not going to show me while I'm in the trade dialogue. But I'll just buy it anyway, because we have the money. Flour, I do not believe, goes bad. Of course, watch this backfire on me instantly when I click this. No, it's just regular wheat. No, it definitely goes bad. Never mind. Well, we will sell it anyway. So uh, it is what it is. You can chalk that up as uh, me taking a big fat L, as the kids these days say. We do still have people working here, right? Good. Are we selling flour at any of these stores? I don't... No, we don't. We don't have any in that one. So... Sunflower oil, and I guess we'll do flour. And mead, apparently. Well, that's fine. There go the cows to one of these fields that's fallow. Probably this one. I just love the image of them just, just gliding up and down this weird embankment thing. Me too. Mer. All right, so we are still removing trees for the stable. Hopefully sometime soon. We have that weird white silvery texture on the trees. I don't know. I don't think that's what those are supposed to look like. But uh, actually, no, cherry trees in the spring are going to have some sort of a flower kind of like that, I guess. Although I always thought it was closer to a, uh, a very, very light pink. I guess it depends on what kind of uh, cherry trees we have. Meanwhile, in the uh, monument to all my sins, the uh, the flower is mostly gone. I guess that's probably been exported to uh, people to be able to s buy that. Metal parts. How much will they buy? Ten cents, or really? Somebody else was selling it for fifty. Cheapskates. Um, horseshoes is something else we can also make in the saddlery, I believe, and they'll pay fifty cents a piece. So if we were able to actually make those... Oh, they don't make those in the saddlery? Do they make them in... No, smithy? Where's my smithy? I moved it over here. Oh, yeah. Let's make some horseshoes. We can make a ton of money selling those. So if we have that in stock, that's going to be nice. And the uh, horses also need those. So I'm glad I checked on that or else we would have been in a very uh, annoying state. So let's do horse tack and then uh, uncheck only available. Come in here and get some horse shoes as well. Um, how many are they willing to buy at one time? 124. Sheesh. All right. Well, I will tell you what we'll do. 100. It'll take them 8,000 years to get that far. Are they going to buy horse tack as well or just the horseshoes? Looks like it. All right. So I think we'll just start with 50. Because, hey, we're not having any horses right now anyway, so you might as well just put everything up for sale. Make yourself useful. Serve a purpose. All right. Uh, we are still... Seriously? Still one more tree? Come come get this tree. We need our horses. Or else people will say I lied in the video title when I name it Horsin' Around or whatever stupid thing I can come up with. All right. So this is nice and full. I think our warehouses are actually, for the most part, looking pretty good in terms of storage. Uh, quick lime, we're out, and we're never going to have any more of this, which is upsetting. 
because that took so long to do anything. Did I just hear a messenger sound that didn't indicate a new messenger? That You know, I didn't notice when you have a window open, it, it has the animation start uh, taking less CPU cycles, I guess. So that's an interesting... Uh, but it's just... Is it just this thing? Am I just out of my mind? What, what was I looking at? Jeez, I need sleep. All right, so we're finally building, finally building the stable. I say as they have clearly stopped work for the day to go, uh, oh, never mind, you're there. But this shouldn't take too much longer to build, and then I think, yeah, these guys are selling horses. Well, they're about to leave anyway, but they do have all three types, so we know when we have this finished, we can send a messenger down there. It takes 19 days to get there because they're super far away, but that's fine because we can buy whatever we want. Which I think to start off with will be probably three draft horses, a female, and a male horse. Just so we can uh, get things going. We'll let them finish that up. Uh, everything else over here is looking pretty good. We do need to build more houses. I would love to build more of these row houses, but we are not going to have the resources for it. And it's going to be kind of a problem moving forward because we have to buy all of our stone and we're about to be at the point where we have to buy all of our lime, which is uh, definitely going to slow things down. But in fairness, there's probably not too many more of these row houses we should really be building in the in any way. Because we already have a good amount here. We have a couple here. I might want to put a third, maybe a two-story on the end of this right here just to kind of fill stuff in. But we'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. So let's go ahead and set... Oh, wow, look at all this. Go ahead and set all of our resource supplies up. They can feed on hay. Max of 5,000, 500, which we'll go ahead and do. Uh, horse shoes and horse tack. Uh, I don't want to feed them any barley or linseed because those are much more valuable for other things. And then, uh, what's our... Okay, it's pretty uh, pretty balanced from a gender perspective, but I am going to go ahead and just hire women only for this because we're going to need men to do other stuff real soon. All right, these guys have horses too. Ah, uh, but they don't have draft horses. Ah. Uh... Is it going to tell me what the price per... Uh, it doesn't even let me type a number, and so I guess I don't know how much they're going to charge me for draft horses. Now, horse tack. Oh, three. Wow. Okay, three apiece. That sounds good to me. Come on down. Buy my horse tack. Metal parts we're not exporting. I'm not going to sell sunflower oil until we have a lot more coming in. Because we, uh, we're kind of doing okay on money. Lime. I'll go ahead and buy lime because you know we're going to need it. Stone, definitely. Buy all of that. And that really isn't that much money to be spending, which is nice because then we can reallocate it to other stuff. So how are we doing on supply here? So horses aren't going to die if we get them. So since they're already here, I am going to go at not 29. No, no, no. I'm going to go ahead and buy a... Um, you know what? I'll just go ahead and... uh. I'll buy two male horses and th four, not five, four female horses. Seems like they're all 60 coins, so that's fine. And if these guys show up again, then we might buy some draft horses. But having them here all ready to go, uh, they do have to be two years old to become draft horses. And I think when we get them, they'll just be a year old, possibly a little younger. I'm not exactly sure. I remember how that was uh, working in the other builds of the game that we'd played before. But we'll find out. And then hopefully they can get this wagon shed built soon. But hey, if they can't, then that probably doesn't matter because we're going to have to wait a year anyway. But there's no need to rush, right? We can take our time doing things, quote unquote, the right way. Just uh, try not to pay attention to other things that I've done the right way. Right here? No? Anybody? No? Oh, what a mess. 
Uh, good news is I can uh, stop making that empty because then they will use this wood to build this bridge. Hopefully. Looks like we've got a good amount of uh, hay stored up. I don't think that's going to be a problem for us, but we are going to go ahead. Yep, that is good to go. I wanted to make sure that was set up. Of course, we're going to have our big hay barrack over here once the uh, wagon shed's done too. And our horses are here, so let's take a look. They are... Oh, a couple of them are actually old enough to make into a draft horse. But since Wagon Shed's not built, there's no need to do that right now because there's nowhere for them to go. So we'll come back and do that when the time comes for that. Since we're going to have to wait... Oh, hey, look who showed up. <laughs> All right, let's not buy 24. Oh, there's 60, uh, 60 apiece too. Huh. All right, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and buy those and just be done with it. Because we can also, I'm not, I'm not saying this is the best idea, but you can slaughter horses and feed them to your town folks if there's ever a food crisis. So it's, you know, it's not a huge waste of money to have all these here. I can't speak to the uh, quality of horse meat, but... It is nice to have that option as an emergency measure, even though as the uh, as far as I know, the worst thing that can happen in this game is just people move out because there's no food and then somebody else moves in five seconds later. So I don't know, but it's still fun to have stuff here. Like I was trying to say, we need to put in some more houses. So I think uh, in the area generally around here, we're going to start putting in some of these... Oh, we could put a tavern here, actually. That might not be a bad idea, since we already have uh, so much going on over here. Kind of uh, rotate that. This might actually be a decent spot. The forestry is going to go away at some point, so I don't really care that this is close and ugly. But putting this right around here-ish would be good. We do have this archway kind of thing right here that will lead people... Pretty much right to the front door of the tavern. And then, uh, of course, that's another place for a family to live, so that's fine. And then around here, where I might put in some other stuff. We could probably put a chapel in as well. I don't think the game really cares how many of these you have. I just know you have to have one to advance above a certain level of population and then the church to get above 300. But you could put chapels elsewhere. The people will go use them. Uh, if you've not seen before, they will just kind of open yep one just came right out but they'll, they'll go in and out do uh do whatever they got to do and go on with their day now these cottonwood trees have pretty much i think fully matured as i click on the fence uh this is looking pretty nice a little bit of shade in this direction at least the sun in this game does not seem to rotate so that will just be forever shady over there are they really still demolishing trees for this? Well, I guess it's progress because the other time there were four trees left. Where is this tree that is inside the bounds? I don't see it. So I don't uh, don't really know what's going on with that, but I guess we'll... Uh, maybe it's the uh, leftover from that log? I don't, I don't know. We'll just... Uh, I'll just leave. All right, so we only have a thousand flour left, which is very telling. It means we need another one of these windmills. So we probably should also put one over here. Where is that building? There we go. Um, and these don't care if they're next to a path or not because, well, they just, as long as there's space, we can actually have that overlap a little bit. Uh, just don't get your head chopped off while it's rotating. It's probably fine. I do want to keep the waterfront open as much as I can because we need to have probably a whole lot more fishing going on. But again, we don't have enough people because we tend to overbuild production before we expand our housing. Not that there's anything tremendously wrong with that. It's just uh, how I uh, tend to end up when playing the game. All right, our river buddies are here. They will buy... Oh, I didn't want to click carrots. They will buy beer. And I will sell them beer. Do I have apples in this one too? No. 
what what do I have? I always forget. Sunflower oil. Uh, I don't really have enough. Are, they want eighteen thousand. What are you doing over there? That's a lot. Uh, warm clothing, forty cents a piece. They want thirteen thousand. This must be a huge place, or a trading hub. One of those two. Man, they want huge quantities. I think I remember seeing something in the patch notes about uh, trading partners will adjust their available stock and demand based on your trading history. So maybe they think I'm some sort of trading mogul that just has a whole bunch of stuff. Well, no, I just kind of make up for my shortcomings by importing and exporting. Sh yeah, we don't even have any. We need more houses with gardens, I think is what the deal is. At any rate, this is all done. Let's go ahead and get everything set up. Uh, yeah, this has to be men only. We have our draft horses. We sure do. So once this has everything stored for eating, for the horses to eat, uh, let's definitely max out our hay stuff. I don't know why it didn't uh, didn't do that before. So yeah, we we definitely need more people because now we're uh, now we are running out of bodies to do work, which is, you know, not ideal. One might one might even say that is very not ideal. So let's see. Big hay barrack is done. They'll take care of that. Let's put in right here. See if I can get this to uh, kind of line up. Why are you building that so, so, so small? You're not going to grow anything. Oh, well, yeah. But I need to move two trees. Oh, it's in the corner. I can put the house more or less in the very corner here and have still enough room to get in and out. So we'll do that. They don't have to have big plots of land, but it is nice to have the private citizens with different stuff. Okay. Can't sell you cheese. Our dairy seems to not really make very much cheese. Or much of anything, really. I think it just sucks up all the milk these cows make. I mean, we have 60 cows. Okay, a lot of these are bulls, so maybe we don't have 60 cows. We might have hmm, 30 cows that are actually producing milk. But still, that's a lot. Or it should be, at least. And then I, I know the sheep are doing that, too. Maybe we just need a lot more. All right, so this uh, probably should have had more wells over here for a very, very long time coming. It is what it is. At least these trees are all planted, right? 170 trees to cover up my hubris. All right, so they're going to take care of that. I'm uh, not worried about the fulling mill just yet. We'll move that to the back. As the windmill, too. Which, you know, actually the bridge really isn't that important either, but they seem to have most of the resources already, so I think we'll just leave that alone. Uh, do note, we have not built a construction office yet because, again, we don't have the jobs for it. We don't have the people for the jobs, rather. So we really, really got to get on that with uh, the whole having people to work thing. Now, I think if I can fit houses here along the riverfront, kind of, I don't know that they're going to want to go here, but this would be a nice spot for them. Oh, some of them. Some of these might actually uh, go for that. Uh, but that looks kind of scuffed. I don't I don't know that we want that. Of course, sideways isn't going to be a, a great success either. This is just so steep here. I shouldn't have uh, I shouldn't have planned so poorly, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said in the comment reply to uh, talking about this, this train has no brakes. We ride. That's it. That is what we uh, that's what we do. So I do think we have the opportunity to, uh, this looks so weird because it's the same distance both sides. Um, where is the door? Not that side? Okay. I want to put in a couple of these houses in like little, uh, little clusters out here. So we'll, uh, maybe do something like this. Just three of those right there. Maybe, uh, because this is a path that exists, so we could 
actually take advantage of that and kind of follow it a little bit. Just put four of those guys right there and then across the street put in something kind of similar just to uh, keep things a little organized. Okay, that's actually too close. I'm going to get rid of that. But these two here are probably okay. Actually, what if we just rotated this one 90 degrees entirely? There we go. Just have another one right here. Then we could put something else here, like a, uh, I don't know, some benches or a little uh, gazebo or something, just to kind of decorate things a little bit. Create our own little uh, community area here. Rotate that 90 and 180 degrees. There we go. Now everybody can kind of access that. Put some benches in place. You know how this goes. All right. So when they ever they get around to this in 8,000 years, then we'll be able to uh, have people appreciate that. For right now, I think the tavern, yeah, they're already already in the process of construction there. Let's see, can we sell? No, we're not we're not selling any of this, but they'll they'll take a whole lot of it, that's for sure. We're definitely not short of wool, sheepskin, uh, buckwheat actually have a, a pretty decent amount. So I guess our harvest must have been pretty nice on that. Wow, they have 10,000 lime they can sell? Now, if the people that are selling stone can keep having that amount go up, that would be nice because then we can, uh, you know, make more cool looking stuff. Come to think of it, this is... Uh, okay, we actually have stone there. Let's go ahead since we're on such a roll here. Go ahead and put in another uh, row house. We'll just do uh, two floors, just to kind of cap this off a little bit. There we go. Just have a, a nice straight line. I am gonna push this further in the queue because it will house four families, which would be, could be upwards of 20 people, depending on how many move in, but most likely somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 for four families. Could be uh, less than that if we get unlucky and they're all marriages, but we'll see. We will get there. We'll find out. Uh, none of these have stores in them, but that's fine because we have our large market area right here. And, oh, there's actually space for us to have more stuff that we weren't already selling. Do we have uh, sunflower oil for sale up here? Yes, we do. We have all the types of alcohol. Okay, then I'll just stick another thing of firewood here because why not? And they'll be able to take care of that. Why have we not built this tavern yet? Oh, so this tree can be inside the boundaries and that's fine. All right. All right, so here we are in December. Watch a tavern get constructed. We got a little bit of time left in today's episode. We can probably, if, big if, all of our resources are allocated properly, we might be able to even get through the rest of this building queue. If not, we can always do a time lapse if I think it's not going to be uh, enough. We haven't, I don't think, we've done one of those in this series yet. We might have, and I just don't remember. But we'll, uh, we'll take a look and see what happens in the next couple minutes. It's always fun to just watch them build. Just take a little bit of time and relax. It's always nice. And I guess they decided to relax too by leaving. But it is winter, so there's not really too much else to do, except just wait for them to go ahead and build stuff. So let's just hope this goes a little quickly and we can come back and see stuff. But I do know that our wagon shed has been hopefully supplied. They have done nothing. They have done absolutely nothing. Never mind. <laughs> I guess we're waiting on laborers because we don't have enough bodies to do stuff. That is too bad because we have 
Oh, we already are having horses born. We just need somebody. I guess I could just open vacancies. And maybe people will come work these jobs and start supplying. I really thought the laborers would uh, get the job done, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, so all these things, the reason why I've been checking by wagon along with everything else this entire time is because once we have these built, they can just go. We don't have to go to every building. Oh, I have to check supply by wagon. It's like, no, that's the whole reason they exist. So you might as well just prepare for it when you're playing the game before you have access to wagons. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of time going through an entire town and telling everybody, hey, you can use wagons now. Just tell them when you build a hey, you're going to be able to use wagons, but we don't have any yet. I think that's a much better use of time and resources. So this should be, hopefully not too much longer, get that all done. And then the people over here can come relax, have a pint and wait for everything to blow over. By that I mean the rest of this winter. As these guys leave once again, as soon as I come down here to take a look at what they're doing. Uh, that's the way it goes. As far as everything else is looking, these trees still have not grown enough to hide my shame. And we have another messenger here. Can we? Okay, we're not stocking metal parts. I thought I told them to uh, do that. Horseshoes, though, yes. 53 horseshoes will net us. Well, not too much, but every little bit counts, right? Yeah, we need to really get our flower production up and going a little bit better, which is why, of course, we have the second windmill. Try to fish. We still don't have enough to feed our people. But nobody's starving. It's just an issue of uh, personal preference. So that's, again, that's why we're building all of these houses, to have people to actually, you know, work. All right, so tavern family has moved in. Well, they're in the process, at least. Uh, their wagon is making its way downtown, as it were. And there they go. So they're going to go shopping. And they're going to be able to uh, take care of everyone's thirst needs. So that's nice to have them there. Next up, of course, is our other row house here. Now, are these people uh, poor because they don't want to work? Or oh, Wow, four kids. Never mind, that's why. <laughs> oh, man, a teenager, a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a four-year-old. Yeah, okay, that's why you're broke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're you're gonna always go broke trying to feed kids. Now, hopefully, they can get this done fast because getting a bunch of uh, new people in will bolster our labor supply, which will of course mean that we're able to take care of stuff instead of just waiting all the time. That's always nice. And then maybe at some point we can build another construction office so we can have more than five guys building things. Although I guess if I really wanted to, I can go to the town hall and hire more builders, but we don't have them. We don't have the people to fill those jobs, so there's not really much sense in uh, worrying too much about that. Sheepskin are waiting on bark. Are we really just not making bark? Uh, that's why. Okay, yeah, these guys can make bark. That is oh, probably going to fix most of that. There taking their sweet time on this, I'll tell you what. They do have to supply all the resources, which is, you know, understandable. I, I just wish we could have multiple things being built at once. Especially if you have more than one construction office. It is cool, though, to see, I don't know, 40 to 50 guys just swarm a building site, but I do wish we could have uh, a little bit more control over what gets built where and when. We'll have to keep an eye out on these guys to see if their uh, wealth gets too insanely large. Remember, we do have our taverns tax and our barbers tax. Because these guys in the tavern, if I can click the right spot. Yeah, see, they're making almost 40 a month. They're only making 16. But, you know, maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll be fine. I don't think we need to worry about it. That's still taking 800 years. How is our wagon shed looking over here? See, now it's actually supplied. So we can go ahead and order wagons. And since we already have the draft horses, they will end up relocating those when the carpentry builds them. 
just come up here. Yep, they're making wagons. They have two more orders in the queue. And I don't think we can actually watch them build it, but we can watch them take it over there. Once it's actually done, they have to get metal parts. Hopefully we're making enough of those. For some reason, the metal parts are never really fast enough, but the horse is there. You can see it waiting. So that will be nice when that's all taken care of. These guys, once again, are not building, but we'll uh, hopefully encourage them to do that. Got another messenger, too. And there's nothing we can do with this, so that's fine. Now, come hither and construct the row house. There you go. I'm hoping this one goes a little faster. Yeah, they seem to be making pretty good time. Just always, always love the different brick segments. Realistically added. So that's actually what laying brick is like. And the header looked like they got a header beam in the doorway built into the brick. That is impressive attention to detail. That is amazing. And then we'll get to see, of course, the brick go right over the top in an arch, as it should, for a weight-bearing purposes. Even the slight sag in the boards for the scaffolding, that is just... Man, I'm never going to get tired of it. Never, ever, ever. They are making good time on this, though, which is nice. Pretty soon we'll have at least another uh, eight people, I guess, working. Unless they're all marriages. Uh, horseshoes. We're not going to sell those right now because we're trying to uh, actually use them. But it is nice that they want to uh, partake in our supplies. Pretty sure they immediately, yeah, somebody immediately married. Understandable. And we should pretty soon see these start to fill up. Although he works in a fishing dock, that's really far for someone working in a fishing dock. That's uh, that's not a fun commute. Although in all honesty, in real life, this would be at most a five minute walk. At most. It's just the time scale is kind of skewed because, well, time goes so fast and these people can only walk at a certain speed. If this was actually real time dilation in terms of, well, the game speed movement, these people would just be teleporting. Unless they're just walking very slowly or there's uh, some sort of dimensional warping occurring. At any rate, this house is about to be good to go. How are we looking here on our tavern? Okay, so they're making good money too, so that's looking good. I don't know why I check this expecting something different every time. Going insane. I don't think we were stocking potatoes anymore. No, we shouldn't have been anyway. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's up with the dairies because even though they're making more milk here in the cow sheds and the sheep farms, the dairies really still not doing anything. Or not doing enough, really, for that to be really worthwhile. Alright, so they got... Two, uh, two parents of parents and a child. And the kid is old enough to almost work any job, so that's nice. And then, oh, we actually had... Every, okay, that's a marriage. And that's a marriage. That's fine. All these people working at the fishing dock. All right, whatever. If they want to walk all the way across the map, then that's their prerogative. Why are we complaining? Oh, all the carts are broken. Okay. Well, this guy is probably busy making plows. Oh, he's waiting on metal parts. Yep. It's a tale as old as time. Ostrich smithies and metal parts production do not work well together. Oh, these poor horses just sitting here doing nothing. 
Well, I guess they're not doing nothing if we have additional horses. But it's the, uh, it's the principle of the matter. Well, this house should be done momentarily, actually. And hopefully that's another entirely new family instead of a marriage, but... Ah, oh, we're getting stuck again. Okay, there we go. All right, somebody come live in this house. Well, we still have a windmill to build. That'll be another job that somebody needs to come do. Once we get these houses built, then I think this will be, hopefully, the solution to our labor woes, because that will be an additional eight houses. If there's no marriages, a minimum of 16 additional workers. Should be nice. We're going to go ahead and copy our settings from the first windmill over to the second. And I guess that's these people moving in right now. There we go. There's a tree in your walkway and you've already planted a garden. Very nice. I don't know what crop it's going to be, but that's, uh, that's fine. Now let's see. I, I, I guess we do need the, uh, the fulling mill. That's a lot of wood though. Are these guys still waiting on metal parts? Man. I tell you what. We probably do need a second smithy. I'm going to turn down horseshoe production. And uh, try to encourage... By turn down, I mean turn off. Uh, try to encourage metal part production because our people need it. We're, we're being held back here. I just don't know why metal parts are so... And this has been buffed, too. That was in one of the patch notes is that the uh, the metal part production has been increased. Although increase could mean going from 0 to 0 0.1. Just as much as it could mean going from 10 to 100. So I guess we'll just have to wait. They're not selling metal parts, unfortunately. Because I'd probably buy some at this point. Yeah, they just need another 15,000 wood. No big deal. Are we at the very least stacking hay in here? I don't think we are. Although it is set up that way. So they should be. They should be doing something about it. These are all full. I think they've been full. Yeah. Well, that was uh, somewhat of a boost. Nice help there. Uh, it's probably about time for us to put another row of these in, so let's take some time now to do that. That's always something we... Oh, look at this land slope. I did not take that into account. Wow. Well, that's fine. We're not going to be paying too much attention to it anyway. I just like to try and stay ahead of the whole wave of bodies thing, because... Uh, if you watched my Alpha 4.7 Let's Play, you know that it is very easy to suddenly have need of an entire additional cemetery worth of grave spots. So that should hopefully stem the tide for another couple of episodes, although we have been here for 24 years, so some of the original residents are probably starting to get to that age where they might die. If I could remember, what was the first house we built? It was probably, uh, probably one of these. 24 years ago, yep, they're OGs. 18 years ago, that's not even a house. 24 years ago, they're OGs. The wife, I didn't know the wife died. 19 years ago, 24, 24, 16, that was a marriage, yep. Okay, so this is the very first house, because the mayor always takes the first house. So I guess we, we're not as far along as I thought. Uh, men don't typically die in this game in mass until they're in their 80s, 80s and 90s. I've, I've had women lived, and one of one of mine lived to be 117, I think, in the uh, 4.7 Let's Play. Uh, there's no way I'm going to remember uh, what episode that is. I'm sorry. That is a 51-episode series, so uh, good luck <laughs> finding it. It is in there at some point. Now we, we have a problem with our carpentry because we don't have uh, parts to repair carts because now the wagon has kind of dominated stuff and there's no uh, there's no metal parts. So 
Uh, and I can't turn off nails either because we do need those. Oh, this is uh, just a bit here. What is going on here with the salt stuff? Um, no, the forestry shouldn't be supplying anything to the salt works. That I don't really, uh, I don't really understand. Yeah, I need another smithy. Because they're just, they're not making metal parts. They're just super slow. So I guess it's time to just suck it up and build one, huh? Just push everything back again. Ah, that's fine. I'm going to put this one, since we're already over here. And we already have charcoal. Let's just, and uh, half of these buildings can go bye-bye anyway. Oh, you don't want me to put that here, do you? Hmm. Why is there stone? I guess they're storing a stone here. Is that what this is? All right, that's fine. Whatever. Where am I going to put this? Oh, I guess that answers that question. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll stick that up here to the... Uh, not technically the front of the line. Or what's holding this one up? Oh, they're just slow. Okay. Well. We can watch them build the rest of this. And I think uh, we'll get the other smithy set up. And then I think it will be time for a time lapse. If I'm uh, not wrong, should be the first one of... Uh, first, well, big one of the series, at least. Those are always fun. I like to watch things uh, in high speed... Hopefully you do too. We just need them to go ahead and finish all this rest of this stuff. Yeah. Even though we're a little uh, little on the slow side in terms of keeping up with labor demands, we are still making very good progress, and I think we can be pretty pleased with what we got done so far in today's episode. Except now everyone is complaining about not having any carts. Just something I should have seen coming because that's also going to slow down all of our construction because they have to carry everything else by hand. Which is, uh, yeah. Definitely not ideal. But once we have, uh, once we have our metal parts, then we uh, should be able to uh, fix stuff. And you know, I wasn't even thinking the last couple of messengers that have come in to check and see what they were selling metal parts for because we have the money to pay for them. So that's on me. I imagine there's probably at least one person that has noticed that and made a comment asking why I didn't do that. So congratulations to you if that was uh, what you just did five or ten minutes ago. You are intelligent. And I am proud of you. And these guys are taking forever and a day to get it done. Good harvesting progress. Looking nice. Yeah, see now the plows need repair. That's dangerous when you don't have plows. Oh yeah, see they didn't they didn't even get to sow this field of barley. So you hate to see that. And these uh three fallows in a row, really? Okay. Pulling mill is done. Uh copy these over. That should be a pretty easy uh thing to fix. Alright. Do you sell metal parts? You do not. You want to buy them. I cannot sell them to you. And I'm not going to sell you anything else either. Iron, I don't know why I checked. We should have plenty of that still. Sheep, lime, we have... Ooh, we actually don't have as much as I thought. But I'm not going to buy any more right now because we don't truly need it. Stone, however, I will always buy stone. Definitely, definitely need that. So not only... Like, in addition to the supply problems, we can't slaughter any pigs. Because they have to be loaded into a cart. So this actually could... Uh, could end up causing some problems for us. Hopefully, this gets done sooner rather than later. And we really should have another carpentry too, but again, we don't have the manpower to support it. That's why we're building all these houses. So that's uh, that's just the way these things go. You gotta be prepared. You gotta stay one step ahead or the game will absolutely not wait for you. That is one thing. Ostrich is not an easy game. Even though sometimes it might look like it is because stuff is going well or things are allocated adequately. It is very easy 
to just uh, get kind of lost and not keep up with things. So that's part of the reason why I uh, attempt, please note I used the word attempt, to uh, at least kind of explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So you can either learn by watching me do things correctly or learn by watching me do things incorrectly. That's usually the best way I learn anyway. So I, these guys are just so slow with their... So, oh, they found one working cart. All right, that's, uh, that's nice. Resting, supplying, going, supplying, getting a cart back to parking. Yeah, it's going to take all day for him to do that. Yeah, see, look, look at all these, look at all these cart warnings. Now, like, every cart's pretty much dead. Not what you want to see. Definitely, definitely not. All right, come on, guys. Get the smithy done so we can get the uh, process started and we can time lapse the rest of this one out and hopefully start off the next episode with a much improved labor force so this doesn't happen again. Or at least is less severe the next time it does. Because logistics are extremely important. If you don't have a good, uh, good card network and good uh, supply chain stuff managed, then uh, it's very, very easy for your city to become crippled very fast. All right, I'll get, this, get these last few things in here and let's move on with our lives, shall we? Alrighty, so, go ahead, they're going to be only making metal parts and I'm going to hire three guys and pay them more money so they can work here. And now there's not enough iron. They're going to have to carry it in their hands because there's no more carts. But they're here and they're going to be making metal parts, which means hopefully soon our carpentry can maybe they, they have fewer metal parts. Are you serious? After all that time, they have fewer metal parts. Where did the metal parts go? Where did they go? Why? Oh, why are they like this? All right, well, here's what we're going to do, friends. We're going to have our little time lapse right here to watch them build the rest of these houses, and hopefully that is a, a way to send off this episode than uh, just staring at a smithy for 20 minutes. After we check and see if Takachi has any metal parts to buy. Oh my god, yes. Please, thank you. Problem solved. All right. <laughs> now we're going to time lapse these houses as soon as they fix everything. So we'll see you on the other side. Alright, and all these houses are finally done almost a year later in-game. They're going to be finishing up the gazebo here in just a second. And it did end up being that a good half of these houses were filled by marriages, which is, you know, not ideal for the overall population. But we did get several new families as well. And we got another, uh, well, maybe only about 12 or 13 new bodies to do uh, labor with. Oh, never mind. Make that 15 or 16, because now we have a new family come in and went up to 445. Well, okay, a well, two-year-old's not going to be doing much labor, but actually, yeah, this is good for four new ones. That's a marriage, 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 and that's, wow, okay, big new family. Very cool. And that is looking nice. Uh, our carts have not all been repaired yet, because I guess they're still... Uh, Oh, they're still trying to make wagons. They already have two. Okay, now they're out of horseshoes, of course. Uh, 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 I guess we have to start making more stuff. That's fine. We'll just have them start doing everything else. But at the very least, some of the carts are working, and we do have two wagons. You can see them in the time lapse delivering some of these construction materials here. So that's looking good. Uh, what we do need pretty fast is going to be another well or two. We do have 
Actually, we could probably have enough stone to do a stone well. How much do we have? Oh yeah, we got 6,000. We're good. We are good, friends. We can just go ahead and... Uh... Okay, well, I can't put that there. But I can put that, say, right there. That'll be a good spot. Put some benches on either side, as we like to do. Except there's a tree in the way, so... Uh... Yeah, we'll do that. I don't need them to... Uh have a bench right behind a tree. Construction for a... Okay, that's to remove the tree. I was about to say, why in the world are they having uh, having that problem there? All right. Um, can I maybe right on the edge here put in a uh, little well? We'll give them a nice fence to kind of uh, set this all off back here. Then we'll uh, come back here as well and kind of have one of these things going. There we go. That will also kind of stop them from cutting through these backyards. Adds a little bit of a stuff there. All right, so they're going to take care of that. That's looking good. Hopefully our water does not uh, continue to run out. We're going to need to put a couple more of these wells in. Yeah, lots of good stuff. They will eventually, if they ever finish this wagon, that's been, I guess, now in the queue for over a year, because I, I put those wagons in the queue long before we started that time lapse. Don't tell me it's because... The, okay, no, that's set to 30. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to raise that to 60, just because we can. And everything else is looking pretty all right. Now, I did get a comment saying... That uh, in real life, having a well near grave sites is uh, understandably not a good common practice. So I am going to go ahead and just remove this one because it is pretty close to some graves. I think the rest of them are probably okay. Yeah, we'll just uh, see about these guys are okay. They're not empty, empty. These are probably fine because they're way, way far away. But this this was very close. So we'll, we'll figure out something else to put here. Still not entirely sure what that might end up being. Actually, do we have anything else we can sell here? No, I guess not. Oh, well. That's fine. We just need these guys to uh, get a move on. And somehow we have fewer metal parts again. Make it make sense because I sure don't understand. Is that because we're trying to sell these things? No, we're not trying to sell these. Huh. All right. Well, is there anything we can sell? Apples? Yeah, you bet. We need to be eating more of these things because I started making a bunch more and we uh we just didn't uh, didn't get along too well with that. So I'll just go ahead and buy more metal parts because apparently the smithies are completely incapable of supplying basic demand, which is irritating, but that's just the way it is. Uh, let's see, shoes. We can definitely sell some more shoes. Make some money there. And then, uh, in terms of buying stuff, I think we're... Mm, I guess we could... Uh, we don't have to buy any flour, I don't think. Potatoes, we're doing okay. Dried fish. Let's just buy a bunch of that, because why not? How much dried fish did I just agree to buy? Okay, it was only 483 cost worth, so that's fine. Hey, you can not entirely tell this was a complete disaster zone uh, an hour and 42 minutes ago. Don't worry, the video is not, obviously not 100, 140, 42 minutes long because I did speed up that time lapse portion. But the rest of this is looking, it's looking all right. These uh, warning things about the carts are not, uh, not maintained are just a little irritating. But uh, those should be fixed pretty soon. I don't think there's anything else we can, uh, ooh. Oh, very tempting. I'm not going to, though, because I know we can always just keep buying more from them. Um, I, won't, I won't sell it. That's, that's fine. We'll be all right without selling it clothes-wise, though. No, we still need to be making more. Oh, they want to buy metal parts for 50 cents a piece. Horse tack we can sell and make a nice princely sum on that. Honey, we might be able to start selling soon if we keep having increased production of it. 
but I think this is a good spot to leave it for today. Got a lot of good stuff done. Finally got horses up and going, even if we are still waiting for that third uh, third wagon to come in. It's got a home right here, ready and waiting for it. These horses have different markings. I don't remember horses having different markings, even if it is just two. That's cool. I had not paid attention to that. So that's another nice detail, I guess, I either never knew or is brand new, so that's cool. But yeah, next time up, we'll probably have to continue just adding a bunch more houses because we, we just need more bodies. That's all there is to it. 42 open vacancies. Granted, a lot of those are laborers for the farm. And why is the storage so full? Wow, look at all that flax. Wow, we are... We're <laughs> We're going to need to have some more uh, Weaver's Workshops going on. I guess we're probably... Uh, probably alright. Just leave this like that. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to figure out some more supply chain stuff. But I think we can be uh, pretty good to go. So as always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to drop a comment below. I do read all of them. And even though I can't respond to every single one... I do appreciate you taking the time to uh, share your thoughts or just say hi. And uh, we got lots more stuff coming. I know I promised Anno 1800. I, th I think I might have said I was going to put a video out today. I, I did not have time tonight to uh, sit down and really put a whole bunch of hours into that. But Ostrov is always fun and always a pretty simple thing to do. So I figured I would put that up because we are still well into the point where it's still new and exciting. And we have more and more people every single day watching the uh, first couple episodes, which is amazing. I think that first first episode of this new series is on pace to become my most viewed video sometime later this week. Uh, the bar for that is currently set at somewhere around 30,000 views. Or uh, I think it was uh, one of the Timberborn series starts. But yeah, uh, as of recording this video, the first episode of the series is over 23,000 views has almost a thousand likes which is insane and is just unbelievable the amount of traction this stuff is getting so thanks for being here i really appreciate it and uh i hope we can have a lot more fun in this game to come as well as all the other stuff that we have coming up so whatever it is you're doing today i hope you have a fun and a safe time and i look forward to seeing you in the next video Bye bye <laughs>